I don't. I, I should have a better segue, but um, we have to talk about unfortunate news. Everyone's aware of Sasha Johnson. Yeah. Um. So it came out. Was it yesterday? Was we recording this podcast? Come out Thursday. So. Black this Lives was, Matter activist. Yeah. So Black Lives Matter activist. I don't think she's officially a member of BLM, but she came to prominence during the whole BLM protest. Yeah. Um. Today, when we're recording, marks a year since George Floyd's death as well. Yeah. So um. Yeah. It's been a rest in power to him. It's mad to think that it's a year's gone by so quickly. Um. So yeah, she unfortunately was from the news report at a gathering in Peckham at a house and got shot in the head. Wow. Yeah. You know, and um, when these <coughs> things kind of happen, yeah, I don't think it's, it's not far-fetched when people start trying to draw conclusions. So she's a BLM activist. She's been very vocal. To some people, she's got right-wing opinions because she's actually part of the Taken Initiative Party. From right then. Yeah, she is part of the TTIP, yeah. the Taken... Um, the initiative party. If you, no, I'm right. Anyone want Martel or no? Where did this go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's bedroom there. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't yeah, we celebrate it, man. Come yeah, on, we man. celebrate it. Come on. Don't worry, man. You can, you can add it, man. You're strong, man. Yeah, man. You're tough, right? Yeah, you're tough, man. Yeah, so she's part of that party. Yeah, just give it, like, so give people a bit of background. A bit more right-wing views. Um, so, yeah, I'm saying that people want to kind of draw conclusions. So, did she possibly get shot because of her involvement, her political stance? That's what I was seeing a lot when when it first came out. Yeah, um, I mean, it like it's not it could be because it seemed like it was a targeted attack when it came out. How it was so worded was like, oh, I was worded. she got shot after receiving loads of death threats. Yeah, it wasn't like um, it was she she got caught in a crossfire or anything like that. It wasn't yeah. positioned that way. So obviously, because of how vocal she's been for a certain cause and. She obviously rubbed up, um, you know, other groups of people in the wrong way with her views. So it could sometimes seem like there is a motive, yeah, um, um, that is racially charged. So I think we've got to do a better job of how we respond to these things because I think any obviously race related people have their agendas, and just because you're not a big white mainstream news organisation doesn't mean what you're saying or tweeting or sharing on the internet doesn't have impact yeah so like wait till we get all the facts because initially what it comes out is um, suspicions that this was racially motivated because of her ties to the to whatever movement and being black and her political stance and then it became uh, we need to defend all black women you know how can someone that is standing in the gap for black men be suffer at the hands of violence in this manner yeah unfortunately we've all grown up in ends you can just be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's what I've seen consistently in regards to some of her friends that come out and say that, no, she wasn't an intended target. She was just at an event and it was just rival gangs in a crossfire and unfortunately she got hit. Okay. And it's, and it's sad that that has happened, isn't it? And prayers too, I hope she pulls through. But I think the point I'm trying to make is that we just need to, I think, be a bit more careful. And I kind of, I feel like I'm, I see where people want to push conversations to for their benefit and that their political stance on it because statements like defending black women we will understand what that is and why we should do that like you don't even need this example for that to ring true in it but sometimes you, you can't draw the thing two things together because yeah. I don't think it's one of the instances where like <coughs> that needs to be brought up this unfortunately is just someone getting caught in a crossfire and okay I didn't know that no, not, I didn't know that that's the, cause it's like everyone's like debating but that's been the one consistent thing I've seen since the start is that if our own friends are saying yo no this wasn't because of any threats you know you know that this was just because unfortunately she was in the wrong place at the wrong time so that's just where I'm at but I don't know what, how you lot feel about it what's happened I don't know if you like paid much attention obviously it's sad man so um, of course of you course. know hopefully she pulls through yeah um, it's even surprising that you know the people even survive um, a head wound you know mm. from a gun so um, yeah like that's you know with the information that you just gave I just hope that she pulls through man and it's like it's 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 even more sad that it's you know that's how she's um, in this position because now you're gonna have other people saying oh well you know look at that she's campaigning for Black Lives Matter but you know she's at you know she's in this position at the hands of her own people I know that this is what's gonna happen a lot of like LBC listeners are gonna have this view like that side of Twitter are gonna be very smug about 
um, you know, her being critically ill. Yeah. Mm. So you know, prayers to her, man. Look at how she pulls. Prayers to to, you know, <coughs> Pastor John. What's her current condition? As in right now, do you know? I haven't, I haven't checked any these reports in the last few hours, but yeah. before we came yeah. in, it was she was in surgery and stable. So mm. there was a vigil for her somewhere in South as well. Mm-hmm. So she's been very vocal. Like she, they've been in the papers. They're like they people know about them. They're the ones that you see in the all black with the stab proof vests on, sometimes wearing the berets. They, 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 that's that that group of people in it. So they've been they've been out here in it in regards to protesting. So yeah, yeah. She's young as well, she's like 27. Yeah, bro, she's young and she's a mum as well. So, like, yeah, yeah, no, we wouldn't, say any, wouldn't want to say anything happen to her. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're also on the agenda. Um, what have you been paying attention to, man? I need to, I could, um, whilst we got the ladies, I could pull up this uh, Gabriel Union clip. She sat there with Dwayne Wade having a little chat about their relationship and that just gets everyone, get, get everyone's thoughts if you want to do that. Chris is just looking at me like, what is Foles up to? Yeah, this mm, mm. leading. Mm. What did she say? Let me even send it to you and you can quickly. 